On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we will be enjoying Kuhio Avenue's Food Hall. So we are invited by Hawaii Agricultural Foundation to try out the Kuhio Avenue Food Hall here in the International Marketplace. True burger connoisseurs, this is the one you gotta get. It is a bit messy, but it's all worth it. Mm. So if you guys want to see what they have to offer, make sure you guys stay tuned and you don't want to miss this one. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, we were invited by Hawaii's Agricultural Foundation to preview Kuhio Avenue's food court menu. Right there! Or food hall, I should say. Yay! It's actually our first time here after they revamped their whole in interior. It used to be Michael Mina, but now it's something different. So come along with us for our first time. And if it's your first time, you can see what we're eating today. <laughs> yeah and all the new menu items that they are offering there. So come check it out with us. And again, if you guys haven't heard of Fudagogo, it's the restaurant week starting March 23rd all the way to April 6th. It helps our local community along with fishermen, agriculture, and farmers. So if you guys wanna support local, make sure you continue watching and maybe you'll find something you like. Let's get going because we are starving. We literally have not even eaten anything today. Yeah, we really <laughs> haven't. So let's go because we are literally starving. Let's go. So guys, we are here at the Kuhio Avenue Food Hall. It's in International Marketplace, like we mentioned, off of Kuhio Avenue, hence the name, Kuhio Avenue Food Hall. They have amazing specials for Food of Gogo Week, and if you don't remember, if you haven't caught our previous videos, um, it's between March 23rd to April 6th, and by supporting or by going to these restaurants, you are supporting local farmers, fishermen, agriculture, so we're super excited to be invited to these events, and we're super excited to show you guys everything. And it is on the first floor, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, yeah. the ground floor ground of floor. International Marketplace. So. Why am I trying to yell into your mic? I have a <laughs> I forget. So right now, the special for Food of Gogo Week at Kuhio Avenue food hall is for a $50 gift card you only have to pay 30 so guys you're saving 20 bucks that's deals guys so get two gift cards and enjoy the night you're only spending 60 bucks for 100 wow that's amazing and also it's only available during food of google restaurant week march 23rd april 6th make sure you guys remember that yeah we're gonna be previewing some stuff from inside of the food hall so i guess we'll see you guys when the food comes out yeah, it's a set menu. We have the itinerary here, so <laughs> stick around. Is here. Right. Ten dollar pitchers. Eleven to seven every day. Two dollar beer. That's a steal, guys. If you guys have been to Shirokia and you remember, it's the exact same prices there. So you know, Shirokia unfortunately is closed. Um, I think for good, so come down to Kuhio Avenue Food Hall and get yourself a $10 picture of Keaton. 11 to 7. 11 to 7, remember. Awful, fully vegetarian, or you can get it with beef and lamb, or chicken, or roasted veggies. This is our hummus, and then this is our most popular item over there, the beef and lamb gyro wrap. And the same thing with this, you get your choice of chicken as a protein, falafel, or the beef and lamb, which is like I said, the most popular. So guys, we just got some dishes from Greek Garado. Oh, Ooh, what is that? Ooh, Thank what you. is that? Thank you. 
<laughs> table so first here. we got some offerings from Greek Grotto. It's the newest vendor here in the international marketplace. They don't have a Food Agogo Week special, but if you guys are craving Greek food and you're in international marketplace or Waikiki area, definitely a good spot to be. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, that looks amazing. All right, so this is our rice plate from the Greek Grotto. This is with our chicken, Mediterranean chicken. Again, you can have the beef and lamb on it, you can have falafel on it, uh, or roasted vegetables. And then, over here, this is one of the Food Go specials. It's our Hawaiian burger from Bonsai Burger, and it's made with a local pineapple, Maui onions, it's got a nice house-made teriyaki glaze and Swiss cheese on it, and it's absolutely delicious. All right, y'all, we are in the mix. We got all this food here. It's so it looks so good. I'm so hungry. Oh my Last god. More food. The Greek this oh. is the Greek fries. That is the best. Yeah. The Mediterranean spicy spices along with uh, tzatziki. Try to say that three yeah. times fast. Feta cheese, dill, and parsley. All right, guys. So I've been doing saying the same thing like a couple times. But anyway, Greek Grotto is the first place. We got Greek fries, falafel salad, uh, paprika hummus some kind of greek rice and a euro we are super excited to dig in but there's something else calling our name show them uh, a burger of course and I, um one of you mentioned in the comments below um robert leslie no shout out robert and shout out to robert leslie for calling me out on talking about the plant-based burger and yes it hit me a certain way okay i did not like plant-based too much but anyway this is a real official all beef burger right here, Hawaiian style. Normally, I don't like pineapple on my burgers, but I'm down to give it a try. You know, why not? Also, um, Mike did mention that they made sliders personally just for us um, to try them out individually. But you know, let's get into it because we're starving. Oh, look at this! That looks amazing. Mm. Man, that's good. Mmm, that's good. Does it hit the spot? Nice and oh, juicy? Oh man, it definitely hits the spot. Don't let these little sliders fool you. I can't imagine what it will be like biting into the actual beef, original size burger, but these little sliders pack a punch. Nice and perfectly charred, very beefy. It tastes almost like you're eating like a teriyaki steak. That's how beefy it is. Nice caramelized red onions. Surprisingly, the pineapple does it for me. I like, never thought I would say that. Like it makes it good? Yeah, it, it acts like a, a nice cut between all the layers of fat, like mm, the- Cheese you and- know, Yeah, the, the richness of the beef and the cheese. The pineapple cuts through all that. It kind of resets the taste buds as you're taking a bite. Adds a little acidity to the, the burger as well. And guys, you know how much I love French fries. They just brought out some Greek fries and does it smell amazing, tzatziki sauce. I love dill. Ah, just everything about it. Let's just try it. I'm gonna get one from the middle. Ooh, see that? Oh, look at that. One from the middle with all the dill and, and all that on top. Oh, see that? Oh, it looks like a crispy fry gang. Yes. Ooh, nice mm. catch, nice catch. Thank you guys. Mmm. Wow. The fries? Ah, a little soggy, but that's how I like it anyway. <laughs> oh, I guess the soggy fry gang, rejoice. That tzatziki is really nice and fresh. Definitely cuts like the french fry friedness. Nice tang. I love sour stuff, guys, and it's nice and tangy. Mm. Oh, fries. Oh, hit of lemon. I like that if the tzatziki sauce on top wasn't enough, they give you a little thing of tzatziki on the side. Look at that. For all you yogurt lovers out there. Behind the scenes, I took a bite. He wasn't recording, but he was not lying. This is actually pretty good. I'm not a barbecue fan. I'm not a pineapple on my burger or pizza or whatever fan, but wow, it's actually really good. It has more of like a, instead of pineapple, like fruity kind of flavor, it gives it more of like a teriyaki sauce. That's what it tastes like. Oh, there, there's yes. a big sign. Oh. oh, wow. Well, I was told to showcase a lot of the menu, not just the food of those. Oh, man. Sure. That's oh, the bombucha right here. That's the white mayo burger. I can't. White mayo. Patties with grilled onions, bacon. Special sauce, mm. cheese, and this is our Kuhio chicken sandwich. Eat your heart out, Popeyes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Garlic fries. Have a new uh, chicken sandwich king in the house. And this is our fresh catch uh, fish sandwich made with local kajiki. This is one of the Fudogogo items here. 
Kajiki's kind of like a swordfish. Right off the bat, I'll tell you right now, Fudio Hana, if you had to try one place here, I Thanks, would recommend Banzai Burger. They have some crazy awesome burgers. That Waimea burger is calling me. You guys don't know what Waimea is? That's the place where people jump off the cliff. If you can't make it out there, jump off this burger because it's that big. Or jump into the burger. Oh yeah, jump into the burger. All right, Fudio Hana, so I'm going to attempt to try this Waimea burger. It looks like a double patty burger, caramelized onions, bacon, cheddar. This is my go-to burger right here. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. True burger connoisseurs, this is the one you gotta get. Waimea Burger. Order it now at Banzai Burger. Dive into this. And guys, here at the Banzai Burger, they have a lot of different burgers. They had a Kajiki Burger, like Mike brought out. They had the Chicken Burger. They had this Waimea Burger. They had all kinds of burgers, but there's a lot of people here, so we had to go for the beef. You know, we had to go for the beef. Yeah, definitely oh, if you guys you. do come down, let us know what you guys try, because we want to know if you guys like it. Really? How's the hummus? Really good. That's the hummus. That's him eating it. <laughs> This is the Greek salad. Looks like, you know, typical fare, lettuce, tomato, dill, feta, red onions. Mm, very light and refreshing. The fresh dill, wow. How's the gyro? Definitely, definitely get the gyro if you try Greek grotto here. The pita bread is so nice and soft. Also, I, we recommend the lamb. You gotta get lamb meat when you get Greek food. I do really like the meat. The flavor of the meat's really good. And just that, that feta cheese, the tzatziki sauce, is very flavorful. Guys, I just, I love Greek food. I love Greek food. Uh, cool, my friend. How's the falafel? Yeah. A little, a little on the salty side. Maybe you uh, don't get the falafel. Gyro, Greek yeah. salad, hummus. Let's try the falafel. I think they try to Oh yeah. Oh, why is so salty? This is the Greek rice. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but this looks like a eggplant and turmeric rice. And he said you can always get it with like beef, chicken, whatever you want. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. The hint of turmeric and the dill. The rice is not like sticky, it's more like kind of um, separated. There's tzatziki sauce on the top too, parsley, dill. When we first opened, we, we teased with this uh, Maria ramen, and it was known as the Kelly Special, meaning this Kelly. It's like whatever. And it was so popular that we had to put it on the menu. This is one of the Futagoro specials, mocha catch fish tacos, again with kajiki. And these are the shrimp tacos. These are two of my favorite items on the menu at the Pina Cantina. So a lot of you have been asking where you can get shrimp tacos or fish tacos. Found out you can get it here at La Pina, La Pina Cantina. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly, for the assist. La Pina Cantina. Fish taco. Me? Yep. Mm. That looks really refreshing. It is refreshing. Lots of vegetables. You get the hint of like some friedness from the shrimp. Nice and light. I, I like the salsa on there. Some red onions, but it's not very strong. It looks like mango, tomato. <laughs> He's lost for words. Beer batter, tender shrimp, mango, pico de gallo salsa, red cabbage slaw, nice chipotle mayo sauce. I don't know if you guys can see it in there. I tried the fish already on the burger. Chipotle mayo sauce. I think the best part, surprisingly, is that little cubes, little chunks of mango, they're like flavor bursts. Just burst in your mouth. Adds a nice sweetness to tie it all in. The tortillas are nice and sturdy. Like they just quickly seared it on the griddle, over the griddle top. Really nice and toasty. And this one is called the birria taco from La Pina as well. It's their rendition of the birria, the ever so popular birria. Here we go. Mm. Mm. To be honest, it tastes like any other birria taco. I can't really tell the difference. Even with the added sauce, it's like a really light habanero type of salsa. I think that's what makes this birria taco stand out among the others. But other than this 
salsa they have here. It tastes like any other beer taco. The salsa definitely makes it. Nice little heat, it's not too spicy either. All right, Fudio Hana, before we get into our dessert segment, just wanted to remind you folks, come down. We were just informed by Mike, you guys could buy this in bulk, okay? $50 for the price of 30. Oh, anyway, <laughs> $50 gift card for the price of 30. No expiration. The only limitation is you have to purchase it between March 23rd and April 6th during Food A Go Go Week here at Kohio Food Hall. So come down, stock up on these food carts because they're a steal, guys. A steal. And guys, we just want to highlight the Greek food, the burgers, the tacos. They were so awesome. And actually pretty affordable for Waikiki. It is more like a food hall too. So there is dining areas in, on the inside and there's outdoor areas. So pretty much kind of like a takeaway to go type of situation. Gift card is good for 10 food stalls in here and three bars. Anything goes, anything in Kohio. Heal food hall. Fifty dollars. Once again, fifty dollars for thirty dollars. Especially with you locals. You know you live here. Make good use of this. And validation at international marketplace. Foodie Ohana, the time has come. The pineapple boat over here. What, what do you even call this? A pineapple churro boat? Pineapple split. It's just missing like a dessert with sale. Cinnamon but... churros and chocolate drizzle. Mm, yes, please. Mm. It's like deep fried churro cinnamon sticks. Oh, uh, what is that? Pineapple, cream, fresh pineapple. It looks like there's a lot of stuff in this thing. Let me try it first. Cheers, guys. The whole palette is strong. <laughs> this whole week. Mmm. With the cream and the and the pineapple, it tastes like a pina colada. Here we'll dog grab it on churro and cheers. All right. We're going to do a churro cheers. We're going to get some of the whipped cream on that. <laughs> so I like cream on my sticks. Ready? <laughs> All right. Ready? Sounds for you, Fudo Ohana. Cheers. 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 <laughs> it's so warm. Oh, wow. Get the pineapple split. Where do you get this at? La Pina Cantina. La Pina Cantina. For the shrimp tacos and the pineapple split, do yourselves a favor. Get those. There is ice cream in there, right? Oh, yeah. I think that's coconut ice cream. That's oh. why it tastes like a pina colada. There is fresh pineapple and looks like a pineapple jam covered with chocolate and whipped cream and these churros. Just like all that delicious ice cream on there. The churro sticks are still warm and crunchy, very sweet. Mm. The presentation is on point. Thank you. So for you guys that are in International Marketplace, I'm literally drooling, oh my god. If you guys are here at Kuhio Avenue Food Hall and you're craving dessert, get this. It's so huge, literally. Like 10 people can probably share this, it's so much. So she said. <laughs> oh, and if yeah. you like pineapple, if you stuff. like coconut, it is a bit messy, but it's all worth it. Mm. Ooh, all right, Furiohana, that was an epic end to an awesome epic night at Kuhio mm -hmm. Ave Food Hall. We want to give a special thanks to Mike again for his generous hospitality and for hosting us this evening, allowing us to try all the different types of vendors they have here. All the different types of foods, desserts, drinks. Yes. It was, it was awesome. It was fun. We had a good time. There's so many things to choose from here. There's 10 different vendors. There's all kinds of bars. I think there's three bars. And also, like I said, they have validated parking here at the International Marketplace. And guys, I will highly, a thousand percent recommend that dessert. I am not joking. That dessert was literally chef's kisses. So freaking good. And no. you know me, I love my dessert. I love coconut, I love, I love pineapple and those churros. Oh, guys, just do yourselves a favor. Just as he says, try the dessert. That was honestly a shock, a no. shock. <laughs> we do recommend coming here, especially during the week of Foodagogo week. That way you can do the special deal, $50 worth of a gift card for $30. March 23rd to April 6th, and also by coming down and supporting during Food Agogo's Restaurant Week, you're supporting our local community, farmers, fishermen, and agriculture. So definitely, you want to check them out. And as we've been saying for a bunch of our Food Agogo Restaurant Week videos, if you want to win free stuff to enter into the Instagram sweepstakes, make sure you tag and hashtag and mention and do all the things here on the screen and check our description as well. I'll have everything down there, including the places we went to today. So you don't want to miss it. <laughs> well, I know that was a lot. That was a lot for you guys to take in, but get the $50 gift card for $30. Have yourself a good time. Trust yes. us.
And if you haven't already, make sure you like this video. It helps us out a lot. And we'd really, really love it if you guys hit that subscribe button. A bunch of you guys watch our videos, but don't follow us, don't subscribe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. We wanna grow our Foodie Ohana and we welcome you to join us. And we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana. Oh, and shout out to all the subscribers we met today. Forgot to mention. Yes. Thank you so much again. And until the next one, peace out. Explore your inner foodie. See you on the next one. Bye, guys. Later. It's actually our first time. Wanna, so if you guys want to support local, make sure you... <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> See, exactly why we need a tripod, like you said. Acidic, right? It kind of oh, cuts I through the... I just had it in my brain. Tangy? Like a, no. Shoot, I forgot. Uh, sweet? Oh! Okay. Uh -huh. you ready? Yes. So... Oi. So... Before we get into our dessert segment segment... Oh. Oh, come on now. Come on, you can do it, Sony. Oh, oh no. You're... You're... Ugh. Holy Thank you! No, no, no.